try this at home, kids. What is going on, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another high adventure video. Oh, yes. Here's the man of the hour. He is the master of the Orient, the Asian of persuasion. It is Johnny V. Guys, this is a video, dude, this has been a year in the making. We thought of this literally a year ago, yep. right as the weather started to get warm last winter time. We have been hanging on to this and we've been mulling it over, stewing about it, making sure we come up with a good game plan as well <laughs> to stay safe. And it's finally going down, dude. I can't, I can't wait. Same this, here. this is awesome. Look at this. The water is looking phenomenal it is actually the last like cold day i think johnny of the year hopefully yeah yeah hopefully <laughs> like in two days from now it's supposed to be like 82 degrees outside but right now it's like 45 so it's the perfect day to make a fire on the boat dude if there is a good day to make a fire on the boat <laughs> today's the day hopefully nothing go wrong yeah 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 cross your fingers uh, let's get the plug in that would be the good first step to boater safety. Johnny, here you go. Fresh fire extinguisher because <laughs> when you're doing something sketchy, you stay safe. You know, Especially that's a fresh one. <laughs> yes, yeah, you know, you want to you want to take extra precautions. All right. Back in Johnny in getting this adventure, this high adventure underway. Well, she's floating. That's good. Good luck starting it. I'll see you later. <laughs> hey, wait, no. Dude, I love this boat, man. Just running it right up on the rocks. Don't even care. Here we go. Uh, you've got our coordinates. I'm gonna rely on you to guide us to the land of rhythm and pleasure. All right, and we're off. Right here, cool, cool, cool. We're like 58 feet of water. All right, dude. Dude, I'm already, I got a little something on the bottom there. Oh, there's something moving around at about 20 feet too. That's gonna be your striper. Look at that right there. Johnny, I'm glad you brought that striper rod. Yeah, look about 20, 25 feet, that striper. That might be our white perch right down there. Oh, yep, there's something else right down there. Dude, let's get it. I'm psyched now. Ugh. There we go handle so hard to move to the side johnny what do you want to start with i got worms i've got uh herring oh you got minnows that's right johnny brought minnows Ooh, that looks nice bro i'm gonna set that up next to you i'm gonna drop a worm down just to start and if we've got them moving in we'll all start like chumming i'm gonna chum some herring down there i'm just gonna thread half a red worm on just like that I got a big heavy uh, sinker as well. Oh, guys, I'm using this drop shot rig. My God, I'm gonna grab one of these toughy minnows. Might grab a big juicy one. Yeah, you got him now. We got him now. Oh, dang, son! <laughs> you need the net. Whoop! Oh, dude, big, big old, old fat perch. <laughs> dang, dude, did you get him off the bottom? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, I'm wondering if those fish that we're seeing suspended are perch or not. I might drop down to about that depth. Dude, that's straight disrespectful to catch the first fish on my boat. <laughs> oh, dude, look at that. See, guys, look at this. They're just, there's a big old bunch of stuff hanging down there, 20, 30 feet. Bunch of stuff. I wonder if that's perch. Every time Johnny stops tapping his toe, I know he might be getting a bite. <laughs> dude, look at all that down there. Dang it. Oh, there's one. I, he got it right as I was reeling it up. Oh, it's a striper. Ha! That's awesome. Bonus fish. Can't keep them this time of year. They got to be over 21 inches. There you go. That's some of that that, that uh, those fish were marking down there. Some of those little striper moving through. Get out of here. Always a fun fight, the striper. Oh, look. There's more stuff down there. Dang, son. I'm going to steal one of your minnows here. You got some big old toughies in here, dude. Jeepers. Hey, got him. Ooh, there you go. Oh, dude, you started chumming. Those archers are coming yeah. right back in. 
think so. That looks good. Feel weighty. Probably not as big as yours, but it feel weighty. It better not be as big as mine. Oh, that's a Ooh. good perch right there, though. I mean, that's that's fat. It's good and thick. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Guys, we just rolled up to a different hump. We're in about 32 feet. We're fishing a little bit deeper hump at about 55, 59. Uh, and Johnny's already slayed one, so hopefully that's a good sign. Because uh, you shouldn't have to work very hard for perch, uh, especially white perch. Um, you should be able to just hammer white perch, especially here in South Carolina. That's the bottom right there. Here we go. Oh, there's one. Oh, dude, yeah, same thing, man. Right as I got down there. That's a, that's what I'm talking about. There he is, right there. That's a good. Oh, dude. Whoa, whoa. Holy cow. That's a good fish, dude. On this light tackle, even those perch. Feel it too. Yeah, you feel it good. Folks, that's what I'm talking about. This is Johnny. This is this is the biggest fish of the day right here. Guarantee it. Ready. Look at that fat. Oh, dude, look at that thing. That's a jumbo. Holy cow, dude. Holy jeepers. Good grief. Oh, dude, look at all of them down there. This, see, this is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that right there. 12, 12, just a little over 12 inches. Almost 12 and a half, dude. That's. That's a fatty McFattyville. Dude, what's the state record perch here? Is it two pounds, you'd be good. Two pounds, you'd be good. Okay, that's not gonna be two pounds, but that's that's good for food right there. Actually, let me get these drinks out. Dude, it's so cold out. I don't know why I've got my drinks <laughs> on ice. It's kind of dumb, but whatever. Look at that right there. See all that? That's the perch we're after, Johnny. Ladies and gentlemen, that last perch was brought to you by this little bit of herring here. He just jumped all over that. This is the rig I'm using. Just a little jig head, a little red jig head for a little flare, and then just a little split shot. I mean, it's pretty stupid, pretty basic, um, but you really don't have to do a lot to fool the perch. They're pretty uh, they're pretty dumb, usually. Actually, they just eat anything, typically, so it's not like you have to get super fancy. This time of year, the perch don't seem to be like as aggressive, but you get some big plump perch this time of year. Do you know what it reminds me of, actually? It reminds me of ice fishing. When you're sitting there jigging on ice fishing, and that's how that's how fish bite when you're ice fishing. It's just like, boom, your rod tip, they just like barely load on. Dude, I'll bet when this hits the bottom, I'll reel up and there'll be a fish right on it. There it is. Yep, right there. Got him. Ha! That's crazy. Double up, double up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, who's this bigger? Mine feels pretty good. Oh, mine's, okay, mine isn't that good. Oh gosh, dude, what are you doing over there? See, like, folks, this is, I would normally keep this, but I'm gonna say that's small, that's like nine inches. I'm gonna see if Johnny needs some help over here. Be a big perch and not a dude, I want a state record perch, yo. Come on, come on. I feel like a striper. He's kind of running in a circle there. Oh yeah, it is a striper. Dude, that's almost keeper size. Almost. Like, we're getting close, hey, getting a little bigger. Closer and closer. Everything's at that 30 foot hump. There he is. Oh, dang it. Dude, that is crazy. Dude, what you got there? Dude, dude that's gotta be a catfish, right? Oh. oh, it just came off. Dude. Dude, that was a big old toad. Dude, it broke your line, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, dude everything's down there, yo. Oh man. Dude, when you, when you buckle up on that rod and it just like stays down, <laughs> Like yeah, it's like, oh geez. Oh, there's a hit. There he is. Look at that. That's a good perch right there. That's a good perch right there. Look at that. Hoo -hoo. Guys, on this light tackle, it's fun. Oh, look at that. Look at that fatty McFattyville. Look at that jumbo. Dude, I should have brought a bigger cooler. <laughs> I mean, they're about 12 inches long, but I mean, look at that. Oh, that's four inches thick right there. Guarantee it. Let's actually, let's see. I'm gonna show y'all this screen here in a minute. We call that spaghetti noodles on the screen. Dude, how thick is that fish? Yeah, dude, that's four inches. Holy cow. Gotta be so careful. These perch are so spiky. They'll get you, but look at that. Dude, that's every bit, almost like, that's like three and three quarters inches thick. That's called good eating. So white perch in South Carolina are an invasive species. Doesn't matter how many you keep or catch or whatever, nobody cares. And a lot of people though, they do consider them one of the best tasting perch here in this lake, in Lake Murray. And I agree. 
delicious and a fun fight. And oftentimes, well, when the fishing's slow with everything else, which it can be this time of year, uh, it's fun just to come out here. You roll up on a school of them like this, and you just load the boat with big old white perches. That's it's a fun a fun a fight, especially on this light tackle as anything. There he is, right there. Suspended off that hump, probably about 15 feet. Oh, I'll bet this is a striper right here. Look at that thing. Yep, there the, so, the so striper is suspended. <laughs> oh man, dude, this is insane bite right now. Insane bite. Post cold front. Oh wait, we changed. You got the perch. <laughs> I got the striper. Let's see. It's schooling together. Yeah, they are. That's fun on that on that little crappy slayer rod, guys. What I'm using is I've got a crappy slayer from Ducket, and then I've got this crazy proficiency reel. Uh, I'll have a link in the description to the reel, potentially the rod. I'm not sure if they sell that on Amazon, but for sure the reel. Uh, but let me show you guys what I'm talking about on this screen. So look at that right there. You guys see how it's all like streaking like that? Uh, a guy told me, he said, they call that like uh, spaghetti noodles. When it looks like spaghetti noodles on your screen, those are gonna be your perch, those are gonna be your striper. Uh, like big, like almost uh, like single arches, a lot of times are like catfish, because the catfish will suspend. They'll suspend five, 10 feet off the bottom. Like I said, there's that spaghetti noodle look we're after, and there are plenty of them in here. All right, guys, I've busted the stringer out because we're quickly filling the cooler up. And Johnny's bringing some home for his people. I'm bringing home some home for me and neighbors. So we're gonna load it up. That looks real good though, Johnny. That looks real good. I'll just tie it off back here. And then we can just periodically. Good grief, dude. Give me a minute. Well, you know what? I'm gonna just hang out here with the stringer. Just pop them off and if it's a good size. It looks like, oh yeah, dude, that's a fatty. Another one. Dude, I'll just, <laughs> <there's> sir, <laughs> like guide service stuff right here. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Whoop, right down. Boom. Look at that, guys. Piles of white perch. I mean, we almost need just like one person putting them on stringer and one person fishing. We're just catching so many of them right now. It's amazing. Down it goes. Right through that bottom lip. Good thing, Johnny, we've got a ways to go before we fill the stringer up. I think it's an eight foot stringer, so we've only got about maybe two feet in so far. Woo, guys, look at that. Look at that right there. I mean, that's, that's amazing. That's awesome. None of those perch right there are under probably about 11 inches, 10, 11 inches right there. Biggest one's about 12 and a half. That's gonna taste good. And if you know what you're doing with perch, it doesn't take long to clean them at all. I mean, I, I could probably clean one Probably about a minute and a half. It's it's not a problem at all. Good tasting. There we go. Got a couple beautiful looking perch on the ice. We're just gonna gut these because my plan is just to whole roast them over the fire. Johnny, are you down with that? Let's do it. Oh, here you go, some perch egg. You know, I had a guy feed me yellow perch eggs when I was ice fishing a couple years ago. I actually, it tastes almost like, it, not, it doesn't taste like much of anything, but it's almost like the consistency of grits. So, there you go. I mean, I don't care to eat one up right now, unless you do, Johnny. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, let's just eat the fish. If I were in survival mode, maybe. Yeah. Scale them up really quickly. Rise and shine, it's fire making time. Got extra wood in here. Set this over here for now. For those of you who are curious, this is a Brio fire pit, the Y series. I'll have a link in the description below to it. I would not be making a fire on the boat if I did not trust this thing. And I've actually made fires on my own deck, my wooden deck at the house. Uh, this thing is super sweet. Like it doesn't get hot underneath. The legs don't get hot. Um, this is exactly what you want if you decide to do something crazy like what we're doing today. All right, here we go. No time like the present. Okay, well, I'm not a one match wonder today. Let's try it again here. Dude, that match just straight up went out on me, yo. 
That's disrespectful. Come on, baby. Come on now. Let's get a little wood going. There we go. There we go. Oh, Johnny, we might be in business here, bro. Oh, boy, Johnny. It's happening. It's really happening. It's really happening. A dream one year in the making, my man. Can you hand me that fire stick? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, here's you get the gallon of water there. There you go. Oh, it's going now. And of course, you know we're not going to build it up too much. You know we don't want a roaring blaze. We just we need something though. We I mean we want to be able to cook, right? So we will get a few pieces of wood on here. All right, we have our two fish getting prepped here. Let's go ahead. I'm going to start by oiling them up. bro what kind of seasoning do you want on your fish i've got a little minced garlic if you want some uh, i've got some of this uh seafood spectacular let's see what i've got slap your mamas i know you're a fan of that i've got some of that uh cajun two-step if you're down for that, right, I'll try that one. that's money dude what you got a preference you want that cajun two-step let's do it bro you get that i might get after that kicking chicken I'm gonna just lay it on the outside of the fish. Chef Micah cooking it up fresh here. Ladies and gentlemen, does it get any better than this? Cooking up fish, got a fresh fire on the boat, and that's a fatty. Big old fatty. That is a big old fatty, dude. That is awesome. Dude, that's that one goes right on the stringer. I'm gonna send them back my way when you're done there. Keeping the fire going. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is super awesome. Johnny, like, I thought it was gonna be, like, I was, I, honestly, I was a little nervous. I was, and I still am a little bit because we have an active flame on the boat. But, I mean, it's just, it's all contained right in here. Super warm, and like I mentioned before, like, look, grab the legs, they're not even hot. Put your hand under here, not even warm, like that whole, the whole deck is fine. Uh, we brought the water and the, uh, what is it? The fire extinguisher right back there. Just in case any like anything jumps out. But dude, look, I mean, Brio advertises this as a smokeless fire pit. And it's 100% smokeless right now. Like, yeah. like I've got the breeze blowing right at me and I'm fine. I got skewers right here, brand new. Dude, these are heavy duty skewers too. I see. Here we go. You know what, let me, uh, since my hands are all dirty, you keep fishing, I'll just skewer them up for you. Thanks. Guys, I think what we're just gonna do is just go right through the belly here. No, oh, oh, hold on. Look at that. was the first time doing this. Yeah, yeah, you could tell it's my first time. Johnny, there you go, bro. <laughs> cook, cook out some fish, man. There we go. Got him sitting right over the fire, cooking up fresh. Johnny's going head first. Bold strategy. I've got mine to the side. There's a decent amount of heat there. Just keep the fire going. Got plenty of wood. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, after my hands going in and out of the, the, the water. Feels yeah, yeah, I need to warm up a little bit. This is nice. Shoo! All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, a little bit of smoke there. Ooh, look at that! How'd yours turn out? Oh, bro. Well done. Oh, bro. I can smell it. Oh, dude, yeah, I'm smelling that kicking chicken. The key is, is to cook it long enough to where it cooks, but then it's not falling off of the, the shish kebab. Mm. I see this. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo! What are you spilling all over my deck here? That's good. Dude, I'll bet that's good. I know that Cajun two-step is delicious. Oh, yeah, it's good. oh man, you cooked that up good. Look at that. See cooked that. all the way through. That's how I like it. It does not get any fresher than this right here. I mean, even I mean flame roasted on the water. <laughs> good grief. Alright, it's time for me to try this guy right here. Oh man, yeah, like where do you start? I'm trying not to like poke myself in the face here. Oh, oh, so, oh, oh, good heavens. The head just came off. We'll let's throw that out that way. That looks nice and cooked. Ooh, look at that. Look at that meat right there. Oh, I'm filling some. Here we go. Oh yeah, dude. Fire roasted on the water. Is getting a freshman in this? Mm. Uh-uh. Not at all, man. This is 
This is phenomenal. White perch already tastes good, but now you're, you're flame grilled. Uh. Dude, I feel like a real man right now. I like it. I kind of it grilled for some reason. Yeah, like, like you get that char that on it. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Dude, I feel real manly right now. Just eating this up right over the fire like our ancestors used to. <laughs> I don't know if they did or not. Look at this fishing right there. Bro, that's awesome. <laughs> this is phenomenal. feels good. Well, y'all, we have used the last of the wood. The SS High Adventure is still intact. You know, we have it burned down on the water. There's a gorgeous sunset, and oh, look at that. Dude, what do you, we got like 25, 30 pound stringer there or something like, I mean, that's heavy. I got some weight in that thing. Yeah, that is heavy, heavy. What an excellent day out here on the water. The fire's dying, so the cold is starting to creep on pretty good. Johnny, I think it's probably about time to wrap it up, I'm thinking. We got like 17, 18 good quality perch on the stringer. Bro, thanks for going on this adventure with me. Thanks for helping me. YouTube fam, thank you so much for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.